You know what it is. That's right. It's time to talk money with your money nerd and financial coach. Now, tighten those purse strings and open those ears. It's the Money Talk with Tiff podcast. Hey, everyone, and welcome to the Money Talk with Tiff podcast. So today I am recording live from FinCon. Um, Thank you to the NEFE.org, the National Endowment for Financial Education, for sponsoring this live podcasting at FinCon 2021. And I am excited because I have a twofer for you all today. So I have Erica Williams from the Classy Climb YouTube channel. And then I also have Monique Holm from the Real Estate Investor Goddesses. Now, it's a funny story because, like, the the podcasting booth was just available randomly and I said hey ladies let's go do this and boom right you gotta gotta just be here right and and here we are and so that's the beauty of FinCon so I just wanted to bring these ladies on today just to just to go over why they chose to come to FinCon and then what they hope to get from it because if you all are listening and you are in the financial um, personal finance space financial influencer whatever the case may be this is the conference to come to because there's so much magic that happens um, while we're here Exhibit A. So um, I'll go ahead and go to uh, Monique first. So Monique, just tell us a little bit about what you have going on and then why you decided to come to FinCon. Why was it important for you? Sure. So my my business is Real Estate Investor Goddesses. I'm a real estate investor. I also help women create passive income streams through real estate. I have a podcast and a blog and Instagram, Facebook. I'm I'm on different platforms. This is my third FinCon. So the first one I went to was in 2018. I I hadn't heard of it before, but I had a friend who is a a financial speaker going to different financial, uh, talking about finance for young Latinos. That was her her focus. She said, I'm going to go to this thing, FinCon, for influencers in the financial space. Do you want to come? I was like, sure. (laughs) And I I didn't know what to expect, but I come there thousands of people, all these brands, and I just started connecting with people. I I got a bunch of different podcast opportunities. I found people to be on my podcast, like Erica here was on my podcast, and, um, and it really helped blow up my business. Just one of the, the podcast interviews that I did, I, got, I guessed it on, made me multiple millions of dollars. Nice. Just one 90-minute podcast interview. Nice. Awesome. And so I, I keep coming back for the relationships with the incredible people that I meet here. Mm-hmm. And, and I mean, it's like we just happen to run into each other on the show floor. And we're like, you know, magic like that just happens here. Yes. And you can't replicate it virtually, in my opinion. Like, you have to come in person. And so I'm glad to see more people, especially us, you know. I'm so glad to see us here because representation matters right so let's go to um erica so erica you have the classy climb youtube channel so why did you first of all what is classy climb and then why did you decide to come to fincon this year well uh i'm the virtual host (laughs) of fincon this year it's my third fincon um i think it's very important uh just a lot of the people who are in the space talking about money, thinking about money, how does money affect their lives, right? And people always say, oh, it's not about money, don't worry about money, but I'm like, but it is. You get up, you put your clothes on, you go to work, you drive in long traffic, because it's about money. And so uh, I, I like how we dissect money here and talk about it in ways that are takes the emotion out of it, but gives us some kind of path. So that's a really the biggest part about FidCon I like, is people come here and it's like, oh yeah, I can address a topic in a way that people like. And so that's what I do on, on YouTube and Classic Climb. I just talk about topics in the way I feel comfortable, and it connects to people. Exactly, and that's the beauty. Like, there's hundreds of people here, right? There's hundreds here, and then there's hundreds virtually. So there's a lot of us out here, but we all have our different spin, and we all have our different niches and audiences and things like that. So there can never be enough because there's trillions of people in the world, and everybody needs help with something. So. You know, you meet so many debt-free stories and meet people who have kids and they got debt free people who are single and got debt free people living in a van and got different like there's a million different things and i really enjoy uh the mixture mm-hmm, absolutely so what's one thing that you all learned so far at fincon and we can go to monique first 
Just this one. Um, so I come here in addition to the relationships to just learn how to do what I do better. I have my mission is to help one million women create financial freedom through real estate investing. And so I was like, however I can connect with more people, what can I do? And there was a keynote earlier today that I caught um, with Jaspreet Singh of Minority Mindset, and he was just sharing about the importance of the content, how do you monetize, and how do you scale. And one of the little nuggets I got from him was like, be weird, like, be your, yes. like, be completely yourself. Mm -hmm. And actually, the the more weird, the better. Even if you're gonna, you'll have people that don't like it. That's actually great. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. That means that your like people are seeing it and it's it's getting out there. So that's that's one of my main takeaways. It's like I, I want to be I want to be weirder. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be more authentic and yes. come as myself. Yeah. Because one thing I took from that also was that he said, "Don't listen to everybody. Yes. Don't listen to anybody. Actually, you know, take what you can and leave what you can't use." And you know, I thought that was golden. And I actually nudged my husband because he was trying to tell me something to do with money talking to and I was like see see don't listen to nobody no. <laughs> um so Erica well what listen is, to Erica because she knows what she's doing <laughs> um, sure. so what's one thing that you've taken away from FinCon so far man you know um the the really the opportunity to kind of like launch back out after 2020 mm. right 2020 kind of shook people like okay what is important what's something I need to focus on how can I really promote this thing I'm talking about? So I think you have a little bit of focus this year is like create, profit, um, promote. And um, I think that's really good because we have people in here with really great brains and they have this really great ideal and then they're thinking about it, but they don't do it. It's like, do it, like do it. So I, I'm glad he opened it up, um, the kickoff. And even the speakers that came on right before, the couple, married couple, um, you know, they put their spin on it, right? They're boys to men versus whatever, right? And, and so people have a flavor to money right and so i think that's what we're getting it's kind of the flavor to money right there's a lot of different flavor in the room so i like that yes and just for the audience that's at home um the couple that she was referring to is rich and regular yes so definitely check them out as well um they're a power couple um they dropped some major bombs <laughs> uh, when we were sitting in there so there's so much learning opportunities and not only just from the big talks but just meeting people like this you know i've learned just as much if not more just having these lobby meetings and just meeting people in person. So thank you all for coming on the show today. Um, I know it was last minute, but, you know, the audience at home, this is how it happens, right? This is how it happens. So if you all can really quick just go over where they can find you, um, you know, and how they can get in contact with you. Sure. I'll go, I'll go first. I'm at reigoddesses.com so, and then at REI Goddesses on the socials. Nice. Awesome. And just to recap, Monique does real estate investing for goddesses, ladies. Um, so definitely check her out if that is something that you are remotely interested in. Honestly, um, I have a rental property. I love it. I want to get more. Um, so I will definitely be in contact with Monique so we can kind of get that thing going. Um, and then Erica, how can people find you? Well, I am the third Erica Williams on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always Erica Williams, Classy Climb, easy to find me. There and Instagram are the only two places I really focus on just because I think it's uh, easier, easier to market, easier to talk to people. Um, you can always find me on YouTube. I'm all the way cutting up, being myself. Uh, but my goal is always just to, like, reach people where they are, right? People come onto the journey at different points. And, and uh, I love her, One Million Women, because a lot of times we have a lot of women who, um, you know, they may be widows, they may be older in life. And I meet women all the time who are like, ah, I'm 40 and I waited because I was going to get married to buy a house. And I'm like, girl, buy some houses now. Okay. <laughs> Not too late. <laughs> Enjoy your time now. <laughs> okay. Okay. And um, I will tell you all, I love Erica. I just met her um, like literally like five minutes before we hopped on the mic. And I love her. Her personality is awesome. So I am going to go subscribe to her channel. I highly recommend you do as well because her personality is infectious. Um, but thank you all ladies so much for coming on the show today. I'm I'm glad that you agreed to my madness because um, <laughs> it was Creative. right because yes. <laughs> it was so last minute but I appreciate this um, and like I said thank you again to nefe.com which is the National Endowment for Financial Education for sponsoring this live podcasting because that's what made this all possible so thank you so much
much, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for listening, joining, and being a part of the Money Talk with Tiff podcast this week. You can check Tiff out every Thursday for a new Money Talk podcast. But if you just can't wait until next week, you can listen to previous podcast episodes at moneytalkwitht.com or follow Tiff on all social media platforms at Money Talk with T. Until next time, spend wise by spending less than you make. A word to the money wise is always sufficient.